sometimes it's true in many instances we are in denial about things that we go through the doctor will tell you you have high blood pressure and you'll be like I ain't got no high blood pressure I just ate something wrong or I ain't got no high blood pressure that doctor's a liar or the test failed and it ain't right or it's situational whatever the doctor tells you you're diabetic like the doctor told me and you find ways to cleverly deny facts case in point I'm taking my medicine I, she put me on medicine metformin formin, and after a couple of weeks of taking it I call my brother and I go my numbers are fine I don't think I'm diabetic he said yeah cuz you take a medicine it's interesting so this is all new to me but let me be the first to let you know a year ago the doctor told me that I was borderline and it's probably um, this is not denial this is facts it's probably because of the prednisone I had to take for sarcoidosis, sarcoidosis that spiked my sugar but that doesn't mean that my sugar is in spike and that I don't need help so it spiked my sugar and you know uh, created the secondary condition and that's what many medications do so it's just better to live right and to eat right and to exercise and to take care of yourself so you don't have to deal with it and so when I first got this kit I didn't really know what to do with it too tough you know I was a little confused and um, basically what this is this is a meter it keeps a log and a record of what your blood sugar is and you should take it first thing in the morning and maybe a second time in the middle of the day or before you go to bed to kind of get an idea of where you are because once you get on the medication I'm like one pill a day I started out with a thousand but it was dropping me too low so now I'm on 500 a day one pill a day um, keeps you in check so good morning here's my meter and here's my strip number 25 and what you're supposed to do is insert this into the meter the meter has nothing on it the strip has two sides the little piano side and then the side that actually draws your blood well where you where you put your pricked finger in there okay so the piano side is the side that goes in that's what lets the meter know that it's ready for something Then you see numbers appear and it will say C25 to confirm that you have the right strip in there sometimes different strips are different numbers and you have to program those numbers then it starts blinking you see that give me blood feed me so what do you do you put a little pressure on your finger to get the blood rushing up there that's what I do try not to prick in the middle I've learned that the middle becomes very sore so you try to get it on a side where the skin is a little tougher like over here so that when you go to prick yourself you heal faster it doesn't hurt as much ah. so I, I cleanse the device in my finger with alcohol wipes and you see this little cock here cock this back like that you see that blue button that fires off the shot okay so I change those needles like Twice a week. Ah, pricked. And I give myself a little squeeze there. You see that? It's all you need. Just one drop. Just one drop. And then you take this side. Remember I told you about that side? And you go like this. You watching? Keep watching. Keep watching. Let's see what's going on with me right now. One oh five. You kind of want to be in the ninety range, so it's a little bit elevated. And here's why: I didn't take my pill last night. I didn't take it on purpose because I was low all day yesterday. So wisdom says that when you're low, you make adjustments because you don't want to drop too low because that could be dangerous too. So I made the personal decision to not take it because I was in sixties, and despite the fact that I kept doing things to raise it, it didn't. But this morning it's a little bit higher so I'm going to take this with a meal always take it with a meal you know so that your levels don't drop too low anyways I hope that was helpful clean up your little stuff with your wipes and put it back in this nice and neat kit until the next time till the next
time. Take care of yourself. Now, I'm not just doing this with, you know, um, the monitor and the medication alone. I am exercising four times a week. Twice with the trainer, twice on my own. And the trainer's aware of my limitations and so she's mindful of that. I, you know, I'm dealing with the sciatica as well. And, but I'm still pushing, so. Basically what I'm saying in that is push past the pain because that's the only way you get stronger and better. It's the only way you can fight the next fight. You never know when it comes. But you gotta be prepared. Be in, in fighting shape for whatever comes, whenever it comes, you know. And prayerfully you'll be strong enough to get through it. Um, don't play games with diabetes, it's very serious. You know, watch your numbers, monitor it regularly, take your medication. Don't take it if you're low. And monitoring helps you to know that. If you didn't monitor, you took your medication, you could create a whole nother problem on a whole nother level. Thanks for listening. I hope this information has helped you, son. I'm Sonia Ward. God bless you.